Uh, my name is Prilly Lato Constina. I'm so happy that I have this opportunity to have an interview with you guys. How is everything going? Good. So far, so good. Alhamdulillah, yeah. so far, so good. Unbelievable. Thank you. By the way, congratulations on the release of Marvel Studio Miss Marvel. Thank you. When I watch the trailer, I am so curious about the character itself, Kamala Khan. As someone who portrays the character, how would you describe her? She is a 16-year-old kid from Jersey City, obsessed with the Avengers, particularly Captain Marvel. And I, you know, a lot of that appeal kind of comes from how simple a superhero's life is. They they fight crime and they look cool doing it. And Kamala has to deal with growing pains and and boys and religion and cultural drama and family drama and so you know that's so complicated and confusing especially when you have brand new superpowers so the entire show we kind of just watch her come out of being you know a watered down version of her of Captain Marvel and become her own version of what a superhero can look like I'm so curious about this series though I have watched the trailer over and over again I can't seem to get over it. So excited. And I want to ask you guys, what makes this series so special to all of you? <laughs> wow. Who starts? Yeah, you start. Huh? Me. Okay, yeah. I'll start. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, obviously, it's very personal. Um, it's very personal to me. Uh, labor of love for a very, very long time. Never thought that this would be possible. I also feel like there's really nothing like it out there. Like, I think as we were like really you know editing the the show together and just like seeing kind of the pieces come together i'm like wow i don't know i don't think i've seen anything like this before yeah right yeah, exactly yeah. no it's, it's it has a freshness Sorry. and and it's also that the coming of age story of, of this pakistani american no, girl who's that. searching for herself no. searching for her identity like she's she's not 100 pakistani in the pakistani world but also yeah. not 100 american so So it's, it's something that we relate to as teenagers, me and Bilal being Moroccan Belgians, you know, also looking for, okay, who am I? Who do I need to be? What is what is my, my destiny? And um, and at the same time, she becomes like all of a sudden a superhero. And then she's, you know, confused about who she needs to be because she was a normal human being and now all of a sudden a superhero. So who does she belong to? And that that vibrancy that always already was present in the comic book, the colors and all that, that is something that is just, you know, the animation. It's it's going to be something unique in the MCU. With me. And I'm curious, like, how was your reaction when you were told that you are going to be cast as Miss Mar- Marvel? <laughs> It was absolutely numb. I couldn't really process. I was like, are you sure that, you know, you're searching for two years and this is the best you can do? Like, something went wrong. I, I was for sure going through, like, some sort of imposter syndrome, and I thought I got it, like, by accident. But, you know, just doing the work and then seeing how great it turned out, honestly. I'm just, I'm really proud of myself and, and of everyone involved in this project i think it's it's really amazing oh i'm so proud of you i watched like a video of you and you are you were like what's happening i think that was when they told you yeah. that you are cast in miss marvel <laughs> you know and for the filmmaking process what has been the most challenging part for all of you oh, yeah. well, senna <laughs> 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 not sweating tears <laughs> No, 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 it was great. It was yeah, great. Right, it's true. It's all love. But it was it's try- true. It's been a lot of pain. <laughs> I was trying to, trying to make something different, I would say. I mean, you know, yeah. trying to, to you know, we had to convince Kevin Feige of putting animation in it because it's different than the other MCU and trying to find creative way to putting that, that in the show. Uh, but I think it's, I think that just having the cast and crew and you know the actors then they made that making of the show a, a pleasure you know because her, the real superpower of Kamala Khan is her family and her friends eventually so, so that was that was that made it really like a smooth ride. Was <laughs> and as a young woman what does being a hero mean to you it's just so empowering knowing that like i can take up space and just like be as cool and have as great of an arc as any male superhero you know growing up the only characters i really liked were the men and i I didn't really think anything of it until i picked up a miss marvel comic and realized wow like this is the first female superhero that I genuinely relate to and and it's just so incredible that I get to share my my passion for this character with the entire world. In terms of directing and producing, how you connect to the previous Marvel Cinematic Universe, are there any similarities or mandatory aspects from the MCUs that featured in the series? 
No, I think in this case, this is really an origin story about, you know, this teenage girl. So we we had yeah. really our own world. Miss Marvel is her own world. And, and maybe later, when she's okay. finding herself and she's becoming the superhero, she will be part of the greater Marvel Cinematic Universe. But this is what is so special about this TV show. It is really an origin story. And we start mm -hmm. with this girl from New Jersey, being in high school, being, you know, doing yeah. her life. And then all of a sudden she gets this superpower. And, and at the same time, she gets also this responsibility. So that is her story. And this is her world. And and there is a big future for Miss Marvel. So yeah, she'll be in the Marvels. I feel like yeah. I'm plugging Marvels here. I don't yeah. know why. Oh, yeah, 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 but we, we don't. We, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, but but you, she's going to be in a movie. That's, that's cool. right, yes. And we have no idea what happens there because this is just, uh, Kevin Feige doesn't tell us anything. And how was the experience during the shot of Marvel Studios Miss Marvel? It was phenomenal. I was introduced to so many incredibly talented South Asian and Muslim mm -hmm. creatives. You know, the fact that my first ever job in Hollywood. Yeah is with this many women, this many this many people of color, this many Muslims, this many South Asians. It was just such a warm yeah. environment and, and so many people were just so excited to be there and, and to bring this character to life. It was, it was really like yeah, an unforgettable experience. We just all shared this like shared love for, for the character and for the comic books and so everyone really poured their hearts and souls onto every single frame in the show, so yeah. Yeah, because since you said this is your first big project, I, I'm curious, like, how was your friends and family reaction when they heard the news that you were becoming a part of Marvel characters? None of us could really that? believe it. Yeah, it was just, <laughs> it's so out of our world. I come from this, like, very small town in Ontario, and mm -hmm. no one really <laughs> gets famous or, 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 you know, enters Hollywood. And even though I went to an art school, no one that I knew or they were no one was really going into the arts after high school and so it just I didn't feel like it was something that was even attainable or something that you were allowed to dream of because you know we're so far removed from the film industry and so now being here it's just you know so inspiring for people to see that like someone like me could could take up space in this industry portraying a female superhero teen superhero if I may say what was the challenge to create a story that stands out but also what relate in a way for Marvel fans you know, I think ultimately, you know, what we've we tried to do, we tried to do this in the comic as well, but we really, you know, stayed true it in the show, stayed too, true to it in the show, was um, making sure that at the end of the day, Kamala's just like, you know, she's navigating all these different kinds of things, and she's Muslim, and she's South Asian, and you know, and she's a fan, um, but she's ultimately, I think, a very relatable person, just trying to figure out who she is, and and. And what she and what kind of person that she wants to begin, she wants to become, and I think that's really what we 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 tried to do was still still tell a very specific story um, mm -hmm. about Kamala being all of these different things, tell and and show the Marvel universe through the lens of a, a, a young woman who is trying to figure out her place in the world, and I think ultimately. Um, you know, that's something that a lot of people can connect with because we're all sort of trying to figure out our place in the world as well. She just happens to be South Asian and Muslim. Um, and yeah. so along the way, people learn about a culture they probably might not have known about before. Would you like to share a few words for your fans in Indonesia? Ooh, I hope that people are able to kind of find comfort in Kamala and her story. I think it's a very universal arc of just figuring out who you are and then learning self-acceptance and, and Kamala, even though she's 16, you know, and has superpowers, life is still embarrassing and awkward and high school sucks. And so anyone who's kind of, you know, young and, and figuring out, you know, what they want to do with their life, I, I hope they're kind of comforted by the fact that even a superhero doesn't have it figured out. So, yeah. Oh my god, guys, thank you so thank you much. So much. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I heard so much. Fun talking to you guys. Thank you, Adil El Rb, Bilal Fala, and Sana Omanat. It's an honor for me to talk to you guys, and it's nice meeting you virtually. I hope we can meet in person and talk about it more. So Thank much. you so Thank much for you. your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great one. Bye.